What's going on guys, Josh Smith here, um, and today I haven't really done like a tackle run through, so I wanted to just go through my bass tackle today, um, I already have it out because I fished a tournament last night, which I did terrible in, but that's not the point. And I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm using um, as far as bass fishing goes, because um, I know I posted a couple videos, um, and you might have seen some of my stuff, but... I haven't actually showed you, so uh, I'll start out with uh, my spinning reel that I use for bass fishing. Um, when I do have to use a spinning reel, which is not that often in Florida, um, I use a um, seven foot two uh, medium heavy action spinning reel um, with a three thousand uh, Team Iowa Fuego. Um, I really like this combo. It's really sensitive. Um, I use braided line. Um, I actually use braid on all of my reels for freshwater. Here in Florida, um, it doesn't really matter, matter um, in my opinion. Fluorocarbon versus braid. Um, you can just get away with braid here, or anywhere I fish in Florida at least. Um, and if I do need to, you know, do get in some clear water, uh, I just put a liter on there. So um, this is a 15 pound um, suffix performance braid. Um, and I just got a shaky head on here last night. I was throwing a shaky head around some docks a little bit. But that's for the spinning reel. Next up is um, my go-to um, worming rod whether that be a Cinco or Curly Tail. Um, I like to throw this rod and it's a, a Team Daiwa T um, seven foot medium heavy rod um, paired up. A Lose Tournament MG series um, with 40 pound braid. I really like this rod for worming. It's really light, really sensitive, um, and I've caught a lot of big fish on this setup. Um, so anytime I got to throw worms, this is the uh, this is the rod I'm throwing. Um, my rattle trap rod. So actually, I use the same exact rod I use for worming for my rattle traps. Um, same combo, everything from the reel to the rod. Um, the reason I like using a stiffer rod like a worming rod is that in Florida there's a lot of um, submerged grass that I fish and so I need to be able to rip that out of there um, and create a reaction strike so that's why for fish and rattle traps I use this setup um, and like I said everything's the same from the reel to the rod and also the line and I'm using 40 pound suffix performance braid on these as well. Square bill rod. My square bill rod is same reel, the Lose um, Speed Spool Tournament MG. Uh, we're going with 30 pound braid on this one. And I always fish a fluorocarbon leader on um, most of my rods especially moving baits and slow moving baits as well. Um, well um, so I uh, got that reel on there and then for the rod I'm using a seven foot medium regular action, not fast action, uh, ballistic Daiwa rod. Um, and this has got, uh, this is a really good rod in my opinion for square bill. It's a little bit shorter. I'm not really going for a super long cast when I'm using a square bill. I'm usually going for more accurate cast, bumping it off of logs, um, whatever it may be, rocks, whatever. Um, and as you can see with this rod, it's got the bend goes pretty far in the rod, so it's really forgiving when you get those fish on there. Um, they're not going to jump off, and also uh, forgiving in the aspect of whoops forgiving when you need to bump it off sticks and logs. Um, really great rod for square bills. Next rod is going to be my chatterbait or um, bladed jig, whatever you want to call it, rod. This is um, 
actually a custom rod that my grandpa built for me. It's got a cool little grip on the back. Um, and it is actually a composite rod, so it's glass and graphite. It's really forgiving, like I just talked about on the previous rod, um, for those fish to really choke this down. And I'm also, when I'm fishing bladed jigs here in Florida, I'm usually ripping it through some type of co cover, whether it be grass, um, submerged hydrilla, whatever. Um, so this is a really good setup. On this rod, I have a Daiwa Tatula Type R. Um, I think it's something, it's like an 8.1 gear ratio. A really, really great reel. It's got the T-wing casting system in it, so you can get a super long cast. I really like this reel, and this reel has 40 pound braid on it as well. Next up is just kind of like my um, additional uh, rod. It's really versatile. It's a seven foot Shimano Claris. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper rod. I just bought it for um, just sometimes throwing on a bait that I might or might not use in a fishing situation. Um, I have a Daiwa Aggressor on there. I'm not even sure if they make these. I bought this a long time ago. It's a really good reel though. Um, 7.4 gear ratio. Um, really great brakes in it. Cast well. Um, and last night I just wasn't sure if I was going to be using a spinnerbait or not. So I just put that on this rod. It's kind of like a... It's a fast action, but it's got, it's got more of a bend like a regular sort of. Kind of in between. So it just makes it really versatile. I can throw a worm on there or I can throw a moving bait like this. Um, just a nice little one to have in my arsenal. And like I said, it's, it's a cheaper combo than the other ones. So. Now let's talk about one of my favorite setups, um, or at least favorite ways to fish. Um, this is my frogging rod. So this is a 7.3 heavy action, fast tip, uh, Team Daiwa Ballistic Rod paired up with another um, Lose Tournament MG. I have 65 pound braid on here um, and I always tie that braid directly to the frog. No fluorocarbon leader or anything. Um, but this is a really stout rod. Um, yanks fish out of lily pads or whatever I need to yank them out of. Wow, I'm saying I'm a lot. Anyway, uh, Really great rod for forcing those fish out of cover. That's that. And then last but not least, by far my favorite reel that I've purchased so far, it's the Lose Tournament Pro. This reel, oh gosh, I can't even begin to describe how much I like it. It's really compact, super smooth, um, carbon fiber handle, so it's really light. 8.3 gear ratio, so it's super high speed. Um, what I use this reel and rod, oh sorry, the rod. The rod is a um, 7.6 uh, Daiwa Procyon series and it's a heavy action fast taper rod and this is a rod I use for a couple different things. I use this rod for flipping heavy cover with you know big punching rigs. Um, I use this rod for throwing heavy jigs offshore uh, I had this tied on yesterday, a just a 10 inch worm with a half ounce weight on there, doing some dragging on some offshore brush piles. And um, this is a really, really good setup. Catches really big fish, holds up really well, um, gets them out of cover when you need it to, and also being 7'6", you can also launch some baits with this thing if you're fishing offshore. Really, really, really good setup. This reel is my favorite reel that I've bought so far. Um, so definitely check those out. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, let me know. Um, I would love to do some more videos like this, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, folks, stay tuned.